Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Agnes. We are in our kitchen as you can see, which can only mean one thing and that is that a cooking video is coming with a real Polish traditional recipe as you already probably saw by the title or the thumbnail. So today we are going to cook something I think very typical for Europe very popular in Poland as well as Sweden. I don't think you eat it a lot in the US uh, or over in Australia. <laughs> Please let me know if you do, but uh, I'm quite sure you don't eat it at all. <laughs> or UK, but it's a very European thing and that is paté or pasztet in Polish. And today we are going to cook chicken slash turkey pate. Fall is coming, autumn is coming, so it's time for my cooking videos. I always try to do some cooking videos in autumn or in winter. There's more time, it gets colder. We always cook a lot, uh, but there's not always time to film it. And uh, we don't eat a lot of uh, meat and especially not for breakfast or supper and by that I mean having sandwiches with um, salami or sausages we eat that very rarely and when we do we like to have uh, something homemade like a homemade uh, pastet, pate we know what's in it and um, we can spread it on sandwiches we like to have a variety, for example, different cheeses, feta cheeses, hummus and a homemade pastet. Let's start and I will show you uh, the ingredients and the process. Let's begin. Basically, all the things you see here are the ones that are going to be needed <laughs> for this pate, chicken and liver pate. And there will be also some spices maybe something else. So this is um, pieces of chicken. They are around uh, four pieces of chicken, like a piece, uh, a chicken leg or chicken thigh. Here we have uh, around uh, 150, 200 grams of uh, turkey liver. You can uh, add, of course, any liver you want, but we are doing turkey liver. Never eat chicken liver but turkey liver is uh, quite healthy. So you can use around 100 to 200 grams. Uh, some two carrots, I will use probably half a parsley, one onion, uh, bread roll, that's it. So the first step is to boil the chicken as if you were boiling a very simple chicken broth, chicken soup. So I added water, the chicken parts, the three, four parts of the chicken, the carrot that I peeled, half a parsley, and also a few bay leaves, and a few of Jele Angelski, which is the allspice. And this will now boil for around one hour. And in the meantime, we'll be frying later the liver with onion. So we are frying the onion now and uh, we'll add the turkey liver. It's done. There's no need to cook it extremely like thoroughly because it's all going to get mixed together in a blender and then baked in the oven. Here it is. So now you need to take off the meat from the bones, add it to a blender or a mincer. And we're also going to add the carrot and parsley and liver and onion into the blender as well as a bread bun that's going to be dipped in the broth. Mm. 
it's also important to add all the skin for the pate to be more moist. Both of our blenders are not working, so we are going to use a mincer and mince it all together to have a paste. one egg, one raw egg into this mixture, salt, pepper and sweet and hot pepper. That's for the spices and that's all. And mix it all together here, pass it over into the form and bake it. Transferred into the form, 60 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius. So bake it for one hour. Much, much later in the evening, I'm going to have a sandwich with our pasta, with our chicken and turkey pate. You see when you spread it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you will try it at home. And I will see you in my next video. Subscribe. Bye.